interesting theory. In their eyes. Is this Mecca for truthers? Yeah. Go for wars on the hey, Alex. <laughs> Are the Georgia Guidestones Mecca for truthers? Oh I guess in a way. Yeah. No, they don't show those languages on this stone over there. They don't show the ones that are at the very top. Bomba clat, gato fish. Yeah, good to meet you too. Yeah, what's up, Fred Carr, Dean? Good to see y'all. So here we are. We're kind of in the middle of nowhere. We have cell phone service. I'm sure there's a satellite that hovers over this place for service. Right. Probably a satellite with a directed energy weapon above us, right? Look at that shot right there. It's like directly in line almost like you can see the shadow a little bit with the stone in the middle so there's a little bit of a degree difference with the sun being like lined up right here i gotta go i have to go like right here to make it line up better so maybe 20 minutes ago so 1 p.m this time, 1 p.m. <clears throat> hey, Jack. So 1 p.m. this time, the sun is directly lined up with the middle pillar right here. How far is this away from Greenville? From Greenville? 66 miles, I think it said. I, I think it, it said be. that. I think it said that. It from could the... be. I know, it's an, I know it's about an hour drive, but mm -hmm. I, I haven't really checked, you know, center of city to here. <laughs> but it's about an hour. Yeah, from... we're at the... Uh, Georgia yes. Guidestones. Yes, I know. Here and here's the English one stuff. here. So make sure you read that. If you've never checked out the Georgia Guidestones, you should check out. Yeah, they, they did all the languages. That they These are them. allegedly the Ten Commandments for the New World Order. So. Yeah, we didn't think about to come here until yesterday. Oh, the time capsule? Yeah, so there's a time capsule over here. What? Hold on. Yeah, I'm a flat earther too. Is that funny? Why is that? Why is that ignorant? <laughs> well, why do you, you brought it up though, ma'am. So like, if you want to open your mouth out in public and disagree with somebody, then you have to be ready to have a conversation about it, right? There's too much evidence against it. What are your two evidences? Could you maybe give me two? Too much evidence. Too much, give me two. I mean, they have satellites They do, the they do. We do you, have, do you? Know, who's we? Okay. But who's we though? I'm not gonna convince you. But I'm not going to convince you either, but we are all curious why, though. No, well, now you're being just rude. No, I'm not. Yeah, you are, ma'am. You brought it up. You brought it up. You wanted. You called him a name in your heart, right? Because he's ignorant. 
And then I say that I'm also a flat earther, and now you want to backtrack and hide in your turtle shell. No, I just, I have a right to my opinion. You do, but you also have to have and the I confidence, have right and you also should have the confidence to be able to defend, to defend it. I'm not accosting you. We're having a verbal conversation, and clearly your sword isn't very sharp. So, maybe you should look into it. Maybe you should look into it. You can't even give me two proofs of why you think the earth is a ball. You believe God government told you that it's true and you believe them. Maybe you're in a religion and God is your government and not our creator. Is that possible? No. So news media doesn't tell you to wear a mask in stores? And you do it, right? You, you need to shut up and leave me alone. Okay. I'm asking you now I know you are, but you know what? So you need to have enough I will, but I'm just going to say this last thought, okay? Maybe you should look into it. And maybe you should start to just question this place and the reality of why you're even here to begin with. I mean, you're here, so you're almost a truther. You're almost there. But you think you're woke because daddy government tells you the truth on TV, right? So, hey, daddy. Thanks a lot for coming. Yeah, definitely. It was good to see you. It was awesome to be here your uh, table buddy yeah, <laughs> for a little actually. bit. God bless, ladies. Take care. I mean, she's here. So here we are, Sue. Yeah, it really is. They thought it was ridiculous to, for them to hear that there were flat earthers over here, so I had a little combo. This isn't ridiculous. And that's what I said. I said, you're almost truthers. You're almost there. You're here, right? But you still reject the resonance of truth. And so, all right. We got ahead. Thanks, man. Let me hug. You have fun. Yeah, you too, Be careful. Yeah, God bless. Yeah, thanks a lot, man. Yeah. So many people. I need prayers, man, for sure. I so, and I'll pray for you too. You know thank where you're you, at. Thank you. You got to pray for each other. I'm so. Bye. Trying a new life. Nice yeah, you. I know. Yeah. All right. God bless. Yeah, bless you. Yeah, bless you. So, drive safe out there. Travels wherever you, however you get back. Yeah. You're flying, okay. Yeah. All right. Mario knows it's flat. Thanks a lot, my friend. Appreciate you. I know. Could you believe it? Yeah, her, her tongue just isn't very sharp, you know? She's just not ready to have a conversation without getting triggered. She doesn't know how to have a rational conversation. You know Jen, you'll have to watch the conversation I had with those two ladies over there. About what, the masks? Yeah, no, they heard, you that, they heard you say I'm a flat earther. And then they're like, oh my god, can you believe somebody said they're a flat earther? And I was over there getting filmed for the... No, I was over there at the time capsule. And I'm like, hey, you know, so-and-so, and then we got into it like for three minutes, so you should check that out. This guy's a lineman, Dan. Because they changed the meaning of heavy, right? Oh, lineman, Dan. actually meant heavy back in the day. And then it turns into this magical force that pulls things to the center of balls. Which, you know, if, if balls were that attractive, I should have gotten a lot more action growing up, right? <laughs> Just saying. Just saying. Just saying. We're programmed to ridicule flat earth. You just have to question the globe. You're, the, the reason you believe that you live on a spinning globe is assumptions. Well, That's when, all when it is. I've, Nathan I've, Oakley. You know, I, 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 would, I would say this to you. I, I've probably watched every flat earth youtube videos out there okay i've watched yours i've watched nathan roberts i've watched nathan thompson what about me you know, uh, i don't recognize you so i haven't I know. watched them all then <laughs> yeah there's but, lots out there i'm but, the best uh, so far, they've really not convinced me you know i, I, well, see. I get, no no hold on you're not well, listening to me yeah. we're not trying to convince you of anything we're saying prove the globe. For that's what we did. Do, do physical you don't experiments wanna, for yourself. You don't want to prove, prove the globe. Prove it to yourself, and that's how you become a flat earther. Can I, I want you to believe us. Can I ask no, you? I was going to ask you, uh, yeah, sure. or any of you, a question as far as that goes. Yeah. Uh, um, enclosed system, dome or not?
I believe it's. Well, I gotta go into the car real quick. Is the door open? We don't have any proof. We have a mental belief system. We're not cleaning anything. Listen, what we can all agree on is that there's no giant vacuum of space next to our air pressure. That's the scientific. There, it's impossible. impossible. It's impossible. See, there's the science that you want to look for. That's impossible. It cannot be demonstrated ever. Well, uh, okay. If, if I had a an air pressure tank, if it was this yep. big, yep. or if it was as big as everything we could see here, <laughs> right, would right. there be a gradient in it? Hypotheticals. Or not? Well, would you still these? have a container. You still have a container. But hold Is on. Is there a gradient in it? Is there a yeah, pressure you, gradient? You can demonstrate yeah. that. Yeah, gradient, gradient doesn't gradient High doesn't go to zero, bottom. okay? Because what you have, even if you have a gradient, okay, there's still a breaking point. There has to be a point where that gradient, if if the vacuum of space is real, it should want to go out into that vacuum of space to equalize it. The gradient does happen in a container because it's a container. You know, even if you have, I don't care how big the container is, yes, there's gonna be a gradient because there's that attraction of that um, you know, incoherent magnetism of the earth. I absolutely believe that, okay? But what I'm saying is, you can't, you can't you put that. It or know it. I know it. Okay. So if you have, let's say you have this giant fish tank and you have established your gradient. Okay. And then put that fish tank in a bigger fish tank and take off the top. Is that gradient going to remain? No, it's going to fill that void. And then the, the gradient is going to resettle. You understand what I'm saying? Yeah. The gradient that we have here is constantly changing. We have high pressure moving to low pressure all the time. That's how we have our weather. So it's not, you, yeah, it's you just like, measure in one spot, it's not going to be the same They, say, they the, say the atmosphere is attached to the Earth, but then they say Coriolis okay, because so the Earth is moving under the atmosphere. Oh, yeah. You can't have both. Yeah, it doesn't both. work. There's so many holes in the globe model, but you you got to focus your direction from there to here. Because we're conditioned to ridicule flat Earth. Absolutely. 100%. And Lyman Dan never gives you a proof. Neither does the conspiracy catch. They just repeat they, what they've been told. Assumptions yeah. and assertions. Mm. All they have are assumptions and assertions. That's it. Or and ad hoc. Uh, no, or all they do is call your names. I do kind of hear where you're coming from there. You know? yeah. I, 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 I don't agree with you, but I hear where you're coming from. Mm. Right. Can I ask you a question? I I'm I'm Can I ask I'm you a question? I'm Joshua. Hey. And what's the name of your channel? Uh, authentic Intent. I wrote it on this, oh, so you sure. can just take it home yeah, with you. Yeah, I need one of these for a Yeah, why not? You know, yeah, maybe yeah. A, co a coffee coaster, yeah. right? Yeah, he, but, he, goes, um, he goes on and talks to hundreds of people in, in public all the time. Yeah, in Minneapolis. I'm from Minneapolis. Um, but I wanted to ask you a question. I mean, just, you know, we seem to be kind of on the same wavelength in a way because we're all here, right? Oh, you guys? Yeah. You're here, too. Where Why are you here? <laughs> Why are you here? Why are you here? If you don't, I mean, no offense, right? Well, but I mean, I mean this, honestly, this, uh, this is just an interesting thing to see. I mean, what do you think about it? Do you think about it like how I may interpret it, or do you not try to go down that way because you want to kind of reserve some? Uh, do you think it's a plan for something that that's being put in place? Is that the way you see it? No, how I see it is these are written in stone, much like allegedly the Ten Commandments were written by Yah with His own finger, right? Just follow my train of logic, right? Okay. Just go along with it, right? Whether you agree with it or not, right? Right. So I'm just saying, like, take it from that perspective, but then take it as if we read it as human beings and this gets out into the collective consciousness, we then make it real because we're all, we're all create co-creating this place. So if we have enough, like... Um, antennas, if you will, thinking of us as all antennas, and we all are on the same frequency, we could make this become real. So they want people to kind of know about this in a way. So whether this is true or not, by our intent, we could almost make it become real. So you have to either go along with it or else reject what they're trying to explain here. You know, I honestly think there's some pretty decent ideas in some of this. You know? Sure. Yeah, How about the first uh, one, reducing population down to 500 million? Is that a good idea, uh, though? Uh, it doesn't say reduce. It says maintain. Maintain. Okay. So, yeah, so it, let's, also, let's, let's, it also let's, says, it also guys. says, make sure that the Bye, guys. Drive safe. The right kind of people. Come here. Here goes Zulu and Dottie. Drive safe, guys. Improving fitness and diversity. So we want a certain type of people to be reproducing. That's very sketchy. Uh, yeah. And I guess, like, where I'm coming from, yeah. how about where I'm coming from, could it, am I, am I assuming that the pop... Yeah. Woo! Yeah. COVID's fake, too! <laughs> right? <laughs>
Would I be assuming that the Earth is populated with more than 500 people if we have to maintain it? Because wouldn't that be a reduction then? It, it is. It's, it's obviously populated by more than that now. But, okay. but let, let's assume something, you know, whether you believe this virus is as bad as it is or not. You know, I, I personally do not think it's as bad as we've been told. Okay. I think it exists. It doesn't exist at all. Hold okay. on, let him talk. Let it doesn't exist at all. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I'll, I'll step over know, here. I, I'm, I'm pretty certain it exists. I don't think it's as bad as we've been told, though. I think it's been been politicized. But let's, let's assume some cataclysmic event like a virus, a world world war, nuclear war of some kind, reduce the population to that or less, well then why would it not be a good idea to maintain it at that? For sure. You know, I'll, I'll give you that. You know, I, I, think, uh, I think world population control is eventually, well, population growth, let me change that to growth, mm -hmm. I think is eventually going to be a problem. Okay. Know, of, where people are going to exist, how you're going to feed them, okay. you know that kind of and stuff. That's where Bill so, Gates so comes you know, in. The, if you know, if for any reason, natural or otherwise, this this were to happen, that the population reduced now, reduced to that, yeah. Well, then, okay, let's do something to try to keep it that way. Okay. You know, so, sure. But but I don't see this as a plan that. Okay, we're I think going it's to kill our monitoring. Mm -hmm. I personally think it's fear mongering. Yeah. Could I could I make just really quick uh, while we're on that thought, thoughts? Can I just show you this? Like, okay. So with that being said, they they teach us in school, much like I feel a church teaches us that the earth is a ball. So how much land and water can you have on a ball? Only so much, right? Right. It's limited. Yeah. You can only have right. so much. Well, if it was flat, the same thing. No, no, no. So, no, no, no hold no, on. So, no, like, no, where no, I'm no, coming no, from, no. I don't know. I've never gone up to the edge of the Antarctic ice wall and knocked on it like these Georgia Guidestones. I can't. I haven't knocked on the on the dome. Okay. In my perspective, I just feel that our Creator, He's infinite, but we're infinite minus one. So I feel that if we, as a collective consciousness, go out here, we could find more land. So they're really the limited. The further out you go, the more land and more water you find. The more water that you find, because water is consciousness. Okay. And science, science so, says this thing too, because they, they say that this maybe is a um, uh, augmented reality that we don't really exist, you know. Yeah. But their their concept is the same. Like the reason that space is infinite is because the further out you go, there'd be more to find, and the more they look into space, the bigger the universe gets. You know, stuff like yeah. that. So the same concept as if you have a flat stationary plane because water always finds its level and we live in a giant earth pond, that when you go out to the edge as a collective consciousness, I agree with uh, Josh here, I, my perspective is the same, that if we as a collective went out there, there would be more land and more resources. And if you look at Admiral Richard E. Byrd, he said there's more than a continent's worth of resources beyond the South Pole, and we're going to be fighting about it for the next 50 years. But then they put the Antarctica Treaty in there, and they said we can't go out there. Mm -hmm. yeah, that's so true. let's let's say it's true. let's say you let's say it that. actually is a ball, and it's just Antarctica that has these resources. Why would they cut those resources off? And right. it's so they who can are they saving it, it for? They, right. they can control it and say we're we only here. Have this much oil, we only have this much coal, we only have this much uranium, or whatever. Who are they saving it for? Yeah, We're already okay. here. Uh, just again, trying to uh, the rich people States, get richer the and the poor people get poor. Mm -hmm. And it's the uh, control it's mechanism. It's On empty. almost every point you're making, I, I tend to disagree. But Christopher Columbus? I do see, I do see, I do see, what you're, I do see your perspective. You Christopher know, Columbus? Know. New land? Yeah, Christopher yeah, Columbus? Yeah. I mean, what if they already knew that there was land and where he was going and they were just waiting for him to discover it? Yeah be uh, the sea. He there's could be the Lee Harvey here. Oswald. How could it be new land you know? when there's people here? Yeah. Yeah, we just want them to share it with us. And so we can all be on the same level playing field, but we're not. Clearly, they have something over us. Yeah. And I think that it's the Holy Grail. And the Holy well, Grail, in my opinion, okay. is knowledge, wisdom, and information. If it comes to trusting the government, I'm on the same page with you there. Okay. I, I don't yeah. trust that's why you're here. Yeah. I, I figure that's why you're here. Well, <laughs> we've been here before, but yeah. our, our brother and sister-in-law have it. Okay, uh, cool. So, so, you know, we, we just, we're on the way somewhere else. We said we'd come by and see it. It's mm -hmm. just, uh, yeah, you know, it's a, it's a, it's a conversation piece. It's sure. an interesting thing to see. Yeah. You know what else is a conversation piece is your hat. John, tree stump or, uh, or, uh, or something else. What's, uh, okay. So have you ever looked into mud floods or trees being so previous silicon trees that were torn up and devil's tower is a tree stump? 
Is that like, would that even cross your mind or even uh, be an I, interest I, to you, I, maybe? I've seen some videos that claim some stuff, you know, some okay. of the same ones. You yeah, guys, I have to some, some of the ones you guys watch or maybe make, you know. Could I, be, I've, uh, yeah. I've mm -hmm. seen some of that. Uh, yeah. So, know, I, I don't, uh, so what I've, if they reset I've been it? I've the Devil's Tower, though, and it uh. doesn't look like a tree stump to me. No, no, no. Yeah. you got to get on top of it and you see these cellular structures that go yeah. all the way down. They're hexagonal yeah. structures. Yeah. It's I, all over the top. There's plenty of pictures, you know. What if we get reset every two, three, four hundred years? How much should we trust history any more than two hundred years? You know, at least well, three or at keep getting rewritten. You know, yeah, I'll yeah. With you Even right now, they're or modern day stuff. book burning. Like, you'll look up yeah. something online and they'll have a history for it, and mm -hmm. then you look it back a week later and it's changed. Interest book burning. Mm -hmm. Yep. Yeah, Fahrenheit seven fifty one or whatever it is four fifty one. Okay. If, if, if you. What is your opinion of that? I mean, uh, well, the that's why they have the internet. The internet makes it easy. That's well, why they have the internet. So everybody puts all of their knowledge and information into it, and then, and then you're it. you're basically creating artificial intelligence using all of our information. Well, let, let me ask you this: uh, what, what do you feel about one of you who uh, is uh, pretty famous for ripping up books because he disagrees with them? Nathan Roberts. What do you think? I don't that? agree with that. I think that we should have all information available for anybody to go down that bunny trail. And your own personal discernment will put the whoa. I'm getting a little well, too the, far, and I need to back up. The kids section. It's all space propaganda. Where's the flat Earth books on the same shelves beside it? Yeah, I understand where he was coming from, but I didn't agree with it. Ripping those up doesn't put flat Earth books. No, and it and it doesn't add any credence to then Globies ripping up flat Earth books. I wouldn't. I would. I disagree with what I disagree with what you may say or think. But I'm not going to hold a gun to your head so that you can't say it. Yeah. This is still America, and that's I why I love this country. Oh, yeah, I'm sorry. Apologies. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Thanks, thanks for remembering. COVID, you believe it's real, but it's never been isolated in a lab. CDC, CDC admits, admits it. That. Yeah. There's no coast postulate. And, and then CD to C. Fact check. Yeah, fact check. There's no, no. coast postulate. <laughs> and CDC's yeah, they've, they've never website. isolated the, the virus. It's a, and, a and they also doctor. had to reduce uh, the numbers oh, because the they, said that, <laughs> they said that um 94% of the deaths had two or three morbidities. 2.6. Yeah, two to three morbidities. That's, yes. not, not, that's not what the CDC said. The CDC said that after they reviewed all the deaths that were attributed to COVID, right. only 9% could be... Directly. Purely yeah. attributed to COVID. Right, that's the point. Meaning that there were others who say you went into the hospital with a terminal illness. Right. And mm -hmm. you contracted COVID. Right. You died with the virus. Right. Then they attributed your death to. So how do they check for the virus? To this on the stones. I'm sorry. How do they check for the virus? I know why, but I feel like um, that's I'm a not exactly sure, but I'm sure it's probably through an ELISA test. It's a PCR, PCR test. test. No, it's a PCR that's test. Fraudulent. Fraudulent. It's, it's a PCR test, and the one who invented the PCR test said you, you should absolutely not use this for testing, only for research. And it also only tests for RNAs, which if you've ever had any kind of broccoli. Oh. But you have these spell tests for cancer. You because when it gets overpopulated into an area, it becomes a cancerous, you know, orb and it spreads throughout the body. But we all have cancer cells in our body from, you know, our environment. But it's not until it be, be, no, until it coalesces. Have cancer cells in our body. Right. What mainstream the main, main, the mainstream doctors shows. say that, that you have cancer cells in your body. You have to look it up. That's a main, I don't know. What do you think? Cancer, cancer is a, a oh. disruption in the DNA oh. sequence. Correct. Oh. Yes. I'm just getting the mic closed. Cameras on me. Okay, so um, like I was saying, cancer is a you know our body replicates itself. Right. And and what happens in cancer is there are several factors that can affect whether a person develops cancer or right. not. And it has to do with the body's ability to replicate the DNA. If it right. replicates it. And the body replicates, I think what you're thinking about that, that we have cancer cells in our body all the time, is that there are mistakes made in the replication right. of the DNA all right. the time. And when they call less, it becomes a cancer. And yes. we, so, you know, we have different mechanisms in the body to correct those mistakes yeah, absolutely. all the time. Yeah, absolutely. And so and mostly if when you're missing a particular gene or something that helps to correct the DNA mistake, Miss sequence, then you develop cancer. So yes, it's not that you yeah. have a cancer cell in the body. All the yeah, time. okay, let me rephrase it. You have cells that become cancer. 
Right, right, right. Right, right. 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 So what, what they check for is when those cells coalesce into one area and they start to yeah. grow, right? That would be what no, the cancer is. No, what would happen is would be a nest, a, a nest, a nest sequencing the in the DNA, and mm -hmm. that cell would become cancerous. And, of course, every cell has the ability to then go on and replicate, and so that, re that cell would re-replicate into the cancer cell right. instead of a normal cell. Right, so but I'm saying, that's what I'm saying. It doesn't become an issue until it coalesces into one area. Well, yeah, so That's what I'm saying. So how many people do you guys have at the, or is it still going on? Um, on Saturday, the person who led it said about 300 or 400 people, anywhere between that. Mm -hmm. Nathan Thompson? Yeah, he was there. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. He's living in Greenville now? He was there for a while. Um, I think he lives in Virginia. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, Greenville is where he was yelling at the kids over the fence. Over yeah, I think so. Yeah, did you know that the official Flat Earth Globe discussion got deleted from Facebook? So that that website that he had or whatever, the group on Facebook got deleted. I, I didn't so that one. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. I, I know about it. Sure, yeah. yeah. Facebook and um, YouTube, that's all pretty political. Mm. I, think they're, I, I do think they're discriminatory about what they put out and what mm. they don't. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Or, they, or they push certain things, you know, yeah. like the voting and stuff. Oh, yeah. yeah. Like, if their algorithms work so well, why would I get flamed with voting advertising? You know, like, I don't vote. I don't have any interest. That's just not my thing. You know, I'm not interested in it. So why do they continue to flood me with that advertising? You know, so they really want to change and influence. I've seen, uh, I've seen many a flat earth video start with uh, Neil deGrasse Tyson as an ad, you know. Sure. And so, it's you know, ironic, that, that yeah. It seems like that's mixing metaphors a little bit. Yeah, a little bit. Uh, yeah, it is funny. So, you know, I, mm -hmm. I, I don't know. Uh, mm -hmm. Well, we had some fun with it. They made a paper mache uh, pinata of a pear shaped globe. Well, I'm sure I'll see all this on YouTube. Yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 Uh, interesting. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, so, you know, I know, I know what I. I, I'm not a, a, a Neil deGrasse Tyson, but I'm a reasonably good anim, amateur astronomer. Okay. And I know I know what I see. I know what I believe about the movements of the planets. Sure. What we perceive as the movement of the stars. Mm -hmm. I know what I believe causes the seasons. Mm -hmm. uh, tell me what you believe. Why, why is the sun? Why are the days shorter in the winter uh, mm -hmm. than they are in the summer? What's, what's your... What's yeah, your I guess I'm just taking it for what I've seen and other people have done. You know, I, I don't have the resources to go traveling and do such things, you know. So I try to take in all the information together from the mainstream narrative of which I understood and comprehended before Flat Earth and now with the new perspective. And so using the, the Flat Earth AE map, Mercate, you know, that type of... a. a you know, looking down on the circle of the earth, the, yeah, yeah, the Gleason's map and such. So just the North Pole being in the center and the sun traversing across that flat plane. Now, whether it vortexes up and then comes back down or the sun gets retracted um, from, this, from the North Pole and, or, and during the winter time, so it goes at a further broader, you know, circuit across the, the plane like this in the winter time. So then the sun is just down here, so it's lower on the horizon. And so in, it's 4.30 in the afternoon in Minneapolis and the sun is setting during the winter time. One thing that I would, one thing <laughs> so, that I would agree with you on, that, that as far as what we observe, there's nothing in the observation that would prove is it round or is it flat. Yeah, know, it's very I, challenging. I, I would agree with you on mm. that. You know, I mean, there's certain, there's certain things that that could be the same either way. Yeah. You know, and so that, that makes it a little more difficult to prove. Yeah, it. and they were here before us. Yeah. You know, whoever that is they, you know, so I didn't come up with the maths and the numbers yeah. where the numbers just coincidentally enough yeah. line up with where this, the horizon and the sun would be dis going distance away. Okay, so. uh, one other one other question for you. Mm -hmm. um, part of, hear this discussion all the time about if the Earth were to blow airplanes dip in their nose. Yeah. Um, Every 60 mile or so. I, I, I happen to have right. so planes in my life. Sure. And, and I know a little bit about that. Mm -hmm. So your assertion would be maybe not yours, but the general flat Earth assertion is that a plane 
would continuously have to be dipping its nose or doing something to follow the curvature mm. on, the, on the globe model, the sure. sphere model. Mm. On this model, if a plane took off flying east or west, why is it not constantly turning one way or the other? East, east is a circle here. Yeah, totally. Using straight lines. You can go around it in a square, you can go around it in a polygon, or you can go around it. I didn't hear the first line of what you said. Oh, I said you could sort of navigate the North Pole using straight lines. You can go around it in a square, or an octagon, yeah. or a decagon. Or... Yeah, and, and really, like, the most logical thing for a civilian or myself with, me, you know, typical resources of maybe having my own private jet, I have to land at airports. You know, I can't just fly anywhere I want. You yeah. need a permit to have a drone that goes higher than 2,000 feet. Yeah. You know, so you need, you need, they regulate the skies. And if you kind of look into it, the Navy actually owns space. Well, well, one thing I would agree with you on, that doesn't mean that I agree with your philosophy. No, for sure. As far as no, no mm -hmm. I would agree that what we see, what we feel does not deny what you're saying. Mm -hmm. You know, uh, okay, yeah, I'm not feeling movement standing here. If I, if I look, it looks flat. Yeah. You know, I, so, you know, uh, and what you do see move is the sky, but everything above you. Mm -hmm. Yeah. yeah. That's all you see. Star never mm -hmm. Why are the people in the southern hemisphere never see it oh, I don't, perspective yeah. Oh, yeah. maybe yeah yeah okay, but it's just you know, further it's away because, it's because it's a, if it's above your head the further you get away your angular perspective gets smaller and smaller yeah. and smaller and smaller until so you can't see it yeah and if the ceiling above us is a certain distance away you go far enough mm -hmm. laterally away from it you're not going to be able to see it yeah so you're, you're saying don't you believe don't right a I'm, I'm, I'm a, a, a solid oh, firmament. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Could, well, just really quick before we go on to something else, real quick. But have um, go on YouTube or whatever, you know. And this is mainstream science. Discovery Channel did it. Type in water underwater. Okay. And so there's a a, t <clears throat> a team that took a submarine in the wa in the ocean waters and then went down far enough where they hit a hard brine substance that they couldn't penetrate through, but they saw you know wildlife you know and creatures and stuff underneath that brine substance, but they couldn't get through it. I guess if you um, get cornstarch and water and whatever, you can put something together where if you hit it really hard, it's a hard thing, but if you just kind of like ease your finger into it, it's very easy to be malleable. And so well, maybe that's something hard, above us. Yeah, exactly. You know, it, it, right. You know, just plain water. Can, right. You know, it'll splash you like a bug if you mm. fall from that distance. You know? Yeah. <laughs> so Operation Fishbowl is an idea that happened in the 50s and 60s where... I'd have, have to look at it again to know the details. I've heard yeah, so that. check it out. Could be, a, could be a ceiling above us as much as we have something that we can't penetrate through eight miles into the ground. You know, because that's how, how deep human beings have allegedly drilled in the Kona borehole in Russia is about eight miles. You know, shout out to Eminem. So, and humans can only go high, so high as eight or ten miles anyways because we can't, we don't have the, enough oxygen. We need this dense oxygen. Uh, the lighter displaced oxygen up above, we don't, we, that's not a living habitat for us. But what they are doing here is they're chemtrailing the atmosphere here. So it's as if like we're having to move through a more denser ether. And I think that's what's slowing a lot of people down is the density, the depression, the fear, the anxiety and everything. And we're making this place slower and we're not able to wake up and swim freely through this like a fish underwater. One of my first things that kind of started thinking about the flat earth versus the ball is that we all think we're on top, but who, there's, if you're on a ball, there's, I, you know, you think, well, somebody's on the side, somebody's on the bottom, somebody's on top, but we all think we're on top. And that was my first thing, like, I mean, I mean, think about it. I mean, if you're on a ball, there's somebody always on the side or on the bottom. But we never feel that we're on the bottom. We always feel that we're up the top. Yeah, I know you've heard this answer before, but it would be the answer that I would give, mm. is that the earth is huge enough and down wherever you are, whether you're in Australia or here or, or the North Pole or South Pole or whatever, down is towards the center of the earth where you are. That's my, that's my belief. What evidence do you have that there is a core? If we've only drilled eight miles, how do you know what's in the center of the go of this uh, I don't know what's in the center of How do you know that there is gob stopper? That that's 4,000 miles, uh, 3959 foot, 3959 uh, radius to the center of the earth. What's your, center, what's your evidence of radius? 
I forget the guy's name, but, uh, you know, even the ancient uh, experiments seem to prove that, uh, help me, the guy that, that did the, uh, the shadow. Oh, uh, Aristosthenes. Yeah. Uh, uh, so, you know, I, I, don't, I don't know that anybody really knows what's in there. Mm. You know, I, I, yeah, think nobody there's, I think there's some, you know, there's some reasonable ways of uh, making educated guesses. Sure. But, I, but you know, but, I mean, you know like, you, like you say, if you've only drilled eight miles or whatever, you don't really know. Yeah, uh, I can make an educated guess that some guy walked on water, right? But I, I haven't seen it. Yeah. So I'm putting faith into a book that's then prophesized by, you know, men of, you know, the Catholic Church. There's a hierarchy of knowledge and wisdom that they want to keep from us. Yeah. And, um, I out something that you can come back here and test tonight. They got in the North Pole a uh, hole right there. looks at the North Pole star. It's lined up with the North Pole yeah. star. That right there just proves continental drift mm -hmm. in the Pangea theory. Yeah. Because if the continental drift, they say that it grows about as fast as your fingernails. Yeah. So um, if that were true, true that uh, alignment with the north pole star wouldn't even be possible the continents aren't moving at all well, the shape of the continents is actually determined by the water level uh, the, uh, probably need to get on the road we got a long way to yeah go. she's got to take her car if you sprinkle yeah, when you take her please do eat and wipe the seat ah uh, that's y'all yeah. <laughs> <laughs> only when i got <laughs> All right, well, we're Florida bound. We gotta go home. Yeah. Oh, okay. Minneapolis here. Yeah, so. so. All right, guys. Well. Yeah, it was great meeting you. Meeting you guys, and we'll see you next time. Steve. Yeah. Pleasure. Good yeah. seeing you. Good to see you too. Right. Yeah. 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 Hopefully. Yeah. yeah. Stay strong. Stay strong. Yeah. Uh, you know, I, I, I don't know. How, how can you say, really, that I guess either one of us have proof? No, for uh, sure. Yeah. Know, uh, it's, it's you know, to be honest, you know, for me, it's just really, I just want to do whatever these people say not to do, you know, and just yeah. see what happens yeah. because yeah. we have to try to keep our, our species going with these kids and stuff. And I'm really kind of concerned about the whole vaccine push and putting things of foreign entities and, you know, bodies into our bodies. Yeah. You know, well, I, I, I think uh, I think if you stop asking questions, you're, you're really in trouble. So you know, yeah. I, you know, I never I never criticize any of you guys for asking questions. I, I, I'm not on to speed with the answers you're coming up with. Yeah. And, and, uh, it's not because I haven't seen a lot of your arguments. Sure. Have, yeah. You know, and, and, but uh, you know, you're free to believe what you want to believe, and so am I. So, yeah. And I think you know, where I, I hear where you're coming from because I think it's, yeah, you're not, you're not, you don't disagree with the ability to ask questions, but I think what rubs a lot of people new to this topic or think it's crazy is the way that flat earthers respond in the conversation that comes to name calling well, and aggressiveness that don't represent you guys very well uh, sure Pratt for one. sure yeah <laughs> you know uh, the, the, there are some people who make a better impression mm -hmm. than others yeah. on, on your side. Yeah, you yeah, know, fair uh, enough, and, and vice versa, and, right? You know, I, I don't, oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. oh, absolutely, yeah. yeah. Uh, and I don't I don't believe what I believe just because Simon and Dan said it. Or fair enough. Or conspiracy cats said yeah. it. You know, I, they reinforce what I already believe. Exactly. I hear uh, where you're coming from. Makes total so, sense. You yeah. know, I, I, I don't... Uh, you know, I, I'm, it's kind of like Sasquatch. I, I yeah. think it could be. Mm -hmm. I'm waiting for you to convince me. Yeah, shout yeah. out to Karen B. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, hey, where are you coming from? Mm -hmm. For sure, just like the alien talk. You know, they talk about how there's been more UFO sightings in the last 10 or 20 years than ever. Yeah. Well, social media, technology um, that we don't, are, you know, know about they could be testing many things in the sky that we don't know about they could be uh you know drones they could be high altitude balloons they could be a lot of anomalies that go on but to say that they're from another planet is really kind of jumping the gun i think you know? so too because uh 
you know, I, I believe the universe is pretty pretty big. Yeah. So I think it would be naive to think that there could not be life out there somewhere. But as far as we know, as far as I know, the speed limit of the universe is light speed. Mm -hmm. And so for them to to travel beyond the reasonable part that we kind of know, mm -hmm. like our solar system, yeah. uh, even our galaxy, yeah. for somebody to come beyond yeah. that, they have either conquered time travel mm -hmm. or they've been I, I coming up for a long time <laughs> is, is, is the way I look at it. So could they be out there? Yeah, I think so. Fair enough. How about if I, you know, challenge you with this, like here's Earth, right? But what if there's another continent, but you call it a planet where the S is here and it's just, you know, further away. Is that possible? So instead of aliens on another planet, there's just aliens out here on this continent. Is that more reasonable? Yeah, it would be, is that more yeah. easier to like rest yeah, your head on yeah, you know that, that would, thinking about yeah, that, oh math kind of i gotta kind of you know the evidence for that i, I think you know i, I think your wait, family's leaving wait, wait. <laughs> <laughs> he's got no, the key i'm sure you got the keys they won't sure you got the keys right <laughs> i've got one key but yeah, she's got the other enough, one but yeah. uh, um you know, I'm sorry I don't know. I didn't know you before, but mm, yeah. you recognize me. It was, it was oh, okay. cool to see you. I'll have all to right. say, you know, even though I, I totally disagree with you, uh, I, it was for cool. now. It was, yeah, okay. <laughs> I'm sure he's planted some. <laughs> uh, red pill yeah, in now it was still cool to see you because yeah. you know, I've seen you on YouTube. Wow, well, here you are. You know, and, so. and look how many things we found to to have in common. But if we keep doing this division thing, we're never going to even be able to have these conversations. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know, yep. and the, the echo chambers like of the ballers or the flat earthers, we can't get anywhere with that, you know? Yeah. We need to discuss all aspects of it and say, okay, what can we prove to ourselves? Yeah. That's what we are about, yeah. you know? Well, that's where we're trying to instill and spread. Yeah, yeah, yeah well, fair, fair enough. Well, wish, thanks for coming out and having our actual discussion. We yeah, appreciate it. I wish it. you well. <laughs> yeah, you too, you know, drive safe for sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm so, in Minneapolis. So. so it's all over then for you guys, you're everybody heading yeah, home right. yeah, you know, vacation's to over. Vacation's over, yeah. Man, I wish I, I, nah, I don't know. I, I, I probably wouldn't have, wouldn't have been able to come anyway, but uh, a couple of other people that I see on YouTube, I'd like mm, to have seen, yeah. you know, but uh, yeah. I, I can yeah. tell everybody I have met Flat Earth Fire. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right. All right. Thank, Thank you, sir. Uh, drive safe, events. sir. Please. Yeah. Here, we got to head out. She's got to yep. clean her car and all What that. about him? Let's get out of here, folks. Uh, oh, I don't know. Thanks a lot, everybody. Right, um, we'll just, uh, here, get behind me. Get thee behind me. Get behind me, everybody. <laughs> Georgia right. Guidestone. That's right there. There she is. There's Jen. Let's get down here. All right, everybody, take care. Love you. It's flat. Thanks it's for flat. watching. And uh, yeah, drive safe. Thanks a lot. After oh, Girl, Alex Buddha Girl, Christy, Alex Squirrel, yeah, Ryan. Yeah. Alex, get over here real quick. Take off that submission mask. Dean. The guy we're talking to, Red Nissan. Give him your channel, yeah. Fusion. Another souvenir. Another Give souvenir. Another souvenir. Ricardo, thanks a lot, man. Any literalist? Dr. Law. Dr. Law. What's up, brother? Dr. Law, you're in the wrong chat. <laughs> no, I think he's in the right chat. SKS. We're going. All right, let's say goodbye real quick. Uh, Bye, Dr. Alec, Law. what is he doing? Frank the Tick, Mark, yeah, it was pretty good, you know, like, that was pretty good timing, huh? Stop here, Alex, you want me to stop recording? We're here for an hour. Go Busters! She says the only truth you're allowed to spread is the gospel. That's what she said? That's what she said. Over there? Yeah, that lady. Isn't it truth? Ted isn't, Summers. Isn't, isn't she spreading her truth about medicine? Logos. Yeah, I know, right? But it's not the gospel, so. All right, everybody. I'm just gonna let you go. I don't want to keep you keep you hanging. We got to get going on the road. So, Georgia Guidestones. It's the mecca of truth for truthers, I guess. You know, for until you come to Flat Toberfest, right? That's right. That's right. Yeah. Yep. So yeah, if you uh, if you're just arriving now, we're kind of at the end of the stream. We had some great conversations though. Um, planted some seeds at the beginning, I gotta go to the bathroom first. and then they ended up talking to us here at the end. So, all right, so we're gonna get out on the road. Thanks a lot, everybody. Take care. Flat Toberfest 2020.
See you next year. I wasn't looking <laughs>